the news of Prince Roland's death spreads across the land like wildfire. With his demise, seemingly comes the end of the Kingdom of Glenbrook. But only days later, a proclamation is made that would bind Esfrost and Glenbrook. Bearer of the royal signet and last heir to the throne of Glenbrook, Cordelia is to ascend as queen. And wed Archduke Gustadolf. Princess Cordelia is to wed the Archduke? What is the meaning of this? Gustadolf is the very one who invaded Glenbrook. But King Regna is to blame for trying to monopolize the mines. What does it matter who the princess weds as long as Glenbrook lives on? It damn well matters to me. My people, our days of late have been dark and filled with strife. Both Glenbrook and Esfros have suffered countless losses, and we have lost both of our beloved princes. For that, I offer you my deepest condolences. May they all rest in peace. As you all know, my father was sentenced to death for his role in this tragic event. But how do we come to grips with our sorrow and anger? How do we atone for our mistakes? Esfrost does not deserve your forgiveness! Do not submit to Gustadolf's will! Let us recognize our sins as such and move forward. Archduke Gustadolf has magnanimously given us another chance. A chance to see Glenbrook to a fair and free future. As the queen of this kingdom, I, Cordelia of House Glenbrook, do hereby accept the warmth and governance of Esfrost, and swear to do everything in my power to usher in an age of peace with the Archduke. With all due respect, sir, I do not believe Queen Cordelia to be fit for ruling Glenbrook. She does not need to be. She is to be our figurehead, a place for the people to focus both their hope and discontent. And while the poor people of Glenbrook stumble in the dark, we shall establish a new government, one based in freedom. Once the people have had a taste of true freedom Esfrost would offer them, there will be no turning back. By the time Cordelia births an heir, both this kingdom and its people will belong solely to Esfrost. I would be loath to stand upon a political battlefield. It is far more heartless than those of war. I am simply breathing new life into a kingdom of tired traditions. The people will thank me for it in time. Father, my brothers, I swear to avenge you. Prince Roland, have you heard about the address at the capital? I have. I won't forgive them for making Her Highness say such horrible things. Enough, Hewitt. But they lied about the King's death. They made it seem like Gustadoff was justified. I said enough! Griping about it here won't change a thing. 
Cordelia is fighting her hardest all on her own. My heart breaks more every day I cannot save her. Forgive me, Your Highness. We all understand how you feel, Prince Froland. No, I apologize. I lost control. Thinking about it will do us no good. We must rise to action. Indeed we must. Everyone knows of your death now. That means we are free to make our next move. Listen, my friends. Prince Roland of Glenbrook is dead. I am now merely Roland, a warrior who fled a fallen kingdom. I humbly ask for your support until the sun shines upon our royal line once again. Is that Sir Maxwell's? That mask. You look just like Sir Maxwell. This is a secret that shall stay within House Wolford. Master, grant me the strength to free our home from Esfrost's clutches. How is he doing? Has he taken the medicine we received from Hyzant? Aye. He hasn't woken, but I reckon he's breathing easier now. Thank you. I am glad he has some relief from the pain at last. I wish I could tell Father about our situation now, but... Lord Serenoa, if your father were awake, I am certain he would praise you for safeguarding Wolfort. <sighs> Sad to say, the real trouble is only just beginning. I'll be damned if House End's protection comes for free. No doubt the longer we stay, the steeper the price. Precisely. Minister Sorsley is not an altruistic soul. If you were in his shoes, what would you do? I would squeeze us dry, then look for an opportunity to. But we won't let that happen. Of course not. Anna is already on the move. It is our duty to protect and guide this house. This heart ain't changed since the day Lord Simon took me in, lad. I'm ready to put my life on the line for this house. We'll get past this, one way or another. You'll see. Thank you so much, both of you. Saranoa, do you have a moment? I was hoping to talk to you about our marriage. Now that Glenbrook has been brought to ruin by Esfrost, is there any meaning to our union? My brother may have been planning this from the start. And yet I came to Wolfort with the intent of marrying you, completely unaware of it. It's always like this. Nothing ever goes as I would wish it. The course of my life has always been at the mercy of others. As has mine. Almost nothing happens the way I thought it would. But you have a home. Somewhere you can return to someday. You are surrounded by people who care about you. As do you, as a member of House Wolfort. Your place is with us now. Saranoa. And though this may sound pretentious, 
This is a time for you to think about your future and what you must do, Frederica. Just as I am. I suppose you are right. What must I do? Here you are. Master Benedict has been searching for you both. Understood. Let him know we will return at once. You said we received a delivery from Minister Sorsley. Yes, mostly food and materials, plus a considerable amount of coin. That is... quite kind of him. House End is a wealthy one, even by Hyzant's standards. This would barely put a dent in their coffers. We have distributed the resources as needed. We've even managed to restock our reserves. Wish I could be happy for the help, but I can't say I am. Agreed. Relying on them comes at a price. They will be looking for recompense. I believe that to be their true aim. But this is the path we chose to walk, together. Indeed. And as long as we stay the course, the winds of favor will someday be at our backs. A missive from Minister Sorsley has arrived. I see he wastes no time. What absurd request could he possibly have in store for us? Nothing good, that's for sure. Yet another problem has arisen, as we anticipated. I would like to ask everyone what they think. Benedict, if you would. Yes, my lord. We have just received a request from Minister Sorsley. We are to deliver his cargo to Asfrost. Cargo? A load of salt that bypasses the consortium. He is asking us to be an accomplice to his illegal dealings. It is as Minister Exham suspected. Minister Sorsley truly is abusing his station. The nerve of him! Asking the Honorable House Wolfort to do such a filthy job. No way we'd agree to that. But consider this. Agreeing would secure us proof of his unlawful business. Are you suggesting we report him to Hyzand? I am saying it is an option. You got a point. We have a duty to speak up when something's not right. That's the honorable thing to do. We might even earn the Holy One's trust. If we rely on Minister Exham, would he speak to the Holy One for us? He tried to expose Sorsley's wrongdoings. Have you all forgotten? Minister Sorsley is one of Hyzan's saintly seven. His connections run far deeper than ours. We must tread carefully. Then we need solid evidence to convict him. I should think the salt he wishes us to transport would suffice. But we are the only ones that know it. And it is indistinguishable from the salt that is legally distributed. Far from the solid evidence we need. Regrettably so. One false move and we lose both Minister Sorsley's support and Hyzant's trust. Without proof, we have no choice but to go to Asfrost. If only we had evidence of his misdeeds. It comes as no surprise to see our opinions differ. But a decision must be made. To report Minister Sorsley's illegal dealings to Hyzant, or become a silent accomplice. Bring the scales. It is time to make our choice.
Might I be of service? Saranoa. Sarah Noah. I wonder. Moreover, I suppose.
What do you need? I wonder about that. Possibly. Quite true. Then... point. Lord Saranoa. Indeed. It is time to cast our votes. Do we follow Sorcelay's orders and smuggle salt across our borders, or do we take another path? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I stand by my decision.
I'm afraid I disagree. I agree. I have faith in you. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. We march to Hyzant and expose the Minister's illicit dealings. We have chosen our path. We shall head to Hyzant and alert them of Minister Sorsley's wrongdoings. Now that we have a heading, we need only move forward. Let us make haste. Indeed. No matter how perilous the road ahead may be, we must not falter. Anna, begin the preparations. Yes, sir. <laughs>